Welcome back to Mass Appeal Delight. It's crisp, it's ginger ale batter, and it's gonna make fried fish even more delicious. And here to show us how to make it is Chef Mike Harrison. He's the head chef of Seasons Restaurant at Buckley Healthcare Center in Greenfield. Chef Mike, smells good. You know, I don't even like fish, but it smells delicious over here. Um, this is this is one of the, the recipes that uh, um, our company comes up with. National Healthcare, it's out of mm -hmm. Nashville, Tennessee. They came up with with this, and I just I just tweaked it a little bit. Um, we use ginger ale to marinate the scrod. Um, little pancake batter. What I like about pancake batter is um, it has all the components that you need right off the bat. You're not adding flour and baking soda and this and that. That's the other true. Th Open the package, you're done. Right. And the other nice thing is it's got just a hint of sugar in it, um, and it just makes a, it makes a really nice dish. So now what does the ginger ale do for the fish? Um, well, you can use beer. I think it just it just a uh, Another perplexed flavor. Yeah, that's like a little nuance. Yeah, huh. um, and then the soda water helps the um, the baking powder react, oh, so that you, that the makes coating sense. sticks. Mm -hmm. so, so how do we start? We start with the fish in water. Not this is ginger ale. Oh, the fish is directly in ginger ale. <laughs> cool. Right. All right. Well, I had to use up the whole bottle. That's true. Um, and then I use the ginger ale to make the pancake batter. Oh, you did? Yep. So it makes it really airy and fluffy? Yep. And then I'm also going to roll it in just the powder batter. So Mike, while you're doing that, Buckley Healthcare Center, it's up in Greenfield, and I bet you have something really good going for uh, Easter Sunday. Um, yeah, we, um, we were going to do one seating, mm -hmm. but it got so busy that we had to open up to a second seating. Um, and it's not just residents, friends and family, they were invited too. You know, that's that's the one thing that we've seen since we opened up the restaurant and we started doing some of these special events. Um, the resident family members um, just really mill throughout the facility. They come there to hang out. It's a cool place to hang. Yeah, it that's is. the nice thing. So uh, that's it's worked out well. Um, like I said, we're going to have two seatings: one at eleven, and then one at twelve thirty. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I, that is really neat is my baker, um, and this is what they come to look for. We do a we do a sunflower cake. So basically, cool. it's a chocolate cake with chocolate ganache, and she does a, takes peeps and puts them oh, all around the outside cute. of the petals. And uh, really, they, they call and they say, are you gonna have the peeps cake? <laughs> all right. <laughs> the sunflower uh, yeah, we'll if you come. have the peeps cake, I'm in. We're we'll <laughs> Now, what kind of oil are you frying the fish in? I'm just using the canola oil. Okay. Um, you really, everybody I know, olive oil's healthy for you, but when you're when you're getting olive oil up to 350 degrees, it's really a distinct flavor that isn't isn't great. Mm -hmm. The canola oil will hold up a little bit better mm -hmm. for you too. Right, and if you're going to make fried fish, it's the, it's the oil that you want to use. You don't want to use the olive oil. When you're when you're frying stuff, that's or what frying I frying anything. Right. Yeah, that's what I would go with. Mike, I also see you have some quartered potatoes over there. Okay, yeah, we um this is this is one of the things I uh, one of my favorites. What I do is I bake them first. Then I make a, I call it a fry mix. Um, the nice part about it is you can make it and just have it in your cabinet. Mm -hmm. um, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, a little paprika, mm -hmm. uh, so, um, black pepper. And then um, what I take is herbs, the Provençal. It's an herb, it's, a, it's an herb mixture that comes from uh, a part of France. But it's great because it, it can go on anything. Yeah. Then I cut it with a little panko breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. I roll the potato in that and fry them off. Um, you roll a quartered potato in it? Yeah. Let me oh, show, oh, here let me we show go. You. Show us. <laughs> TV magic right here. So, oh, so you can make this dry mix and just keep it. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Easy enough. And you just pop them in there. And you just pop them in there, and that's how they come out. Um, you know, you can. What I'm going to do is I'm going to display them almost like like that that sh game Jenga. <laughs> well, I'll put them in a couple layers, and a little sour cream, maybe some chives. Oh, um, it okay. It presents real well on the plate. And then we're also going to make a cauliflower coleslaw. So we have Ooh. those things to look forward to later in the show. Also, I want to learn more about music and memories. It's something that they do at the Buckley Health Center, which is really cool. <laughs> it I is think. cool. So it in is. a little bit, talk about that? That sounds great. Thanks, right. Chef Mike. Thank, Thank you. Do it. Don't great. go anywhere.
<laughs> Welcome back to Mask Appeal. We're on the air, guys. We're having yeah, a good time here. That's Mike Harrison. That's Ashley Cole. Mike is the head chef of Season Dress Run at Bucket Healthcare Center in Greenfield. Ashley Cole, I host of Mass Appeal. Commenting on his wonderful Jenga display. I have played the game before, but I know what happens if you pull the one from the bottom. But you yell looks Jenga like the tastiest one. It's really a nice presentation, Mike. Well, so those uh, are the f the potato wedges, and alongside it is the fried fish. Yep, the pancake uh, ginger marinated pancake batter uh, cod. Um, okay, let's go on the um, cauliflower. cauliflower slaw. Okay. okay, let's do it. So this, this is a, an interesting uh, way to use cauliflower. Absolutely, um, it's. You know, something, cauliflower, it's kind of like Brussels sprouts were it's a bad four rap. years ago. Now, all of a sudden, you know, any, any cool appetizer, if they seem to have, you know, Brussels sprouts. Cauliflower, there's, they're doing a lot with uh, polonaise, like egg battering it and, and frying it. Really? And yeah. Wow. Um, it's, uh, mashing it. Yeah, my mom like just that. made a, a potato salad with cauliflower. So it really is kind of cauliflower rice. There's a lot that you can do with that. So this is the slaw. Yep. So it looks like you've cut it into... We just slice, slice it up. Okay, slice it up. And this is uh, coconut oil. Okay. It's great for you. That's uh, sherry vinegar. Okay. A little, little orange. orange juice. All right, and then a few minced something or others. This yeah. is um, shredded or um, this is garlic and orange zest. Oh, nice. Very fragrant, huh? It is really fragrant. It smells it already. And then the cauliflower goes in. We're going to put some cauliflower in. And it doesn't have to be really small. No, a nice Pieces thing to do, put into it also, uh, like the recipe says, uh, red endive or radicchio, because endive is some, sometimes really bitter, mm -hmm. or even just r red leaf, just to give it some more color. Oh, okay. So th Yeah, that sometimes it's all about the presentation, and you want, you want to break up the color there. So then we are still going to add color, though. Yeah. This is a little fresh cilantro, because okay. I love everything with cilantro. There's uh, some sliced jalapeno. And they're de-seeded, I see, so they're not going to get you real bad. No, no. It'll give you a nice flavor, some cashews and coconut. Interesting. And that's pretty much it. We just mix it and we're good to go. Mike, while you're mixing, tell me about Memories and Music. It's a new initiative. You're, you're getting off the ground, and it sounds like, like a blast. Yeah, what, what we're, we're trying to do, or what we're attempting to do is, you know, music's a big part of everybody's life, and it always takes you back. Mm -hmm. It takes you back to your, you know, your first sporting event, your first dance, your first date. It's a sense Your memory. wedding, you know. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do is come up with playlists and give each resident a iPad that they can listen to when maybe they're they're just they're in a great mood. Mm -hmm. They're not in a they're not in such a wonderful mood. They're agitated. They're whatever. Or if they're just in the mood for some tunes. Absolutely, um, and we're hoping that it's going to alleviate um, maybe some of the alarms that might be in a chair or something like that because um, you know. They've, they've fallen and we just want to make sure they're safe. Mm -hmm. And we're t instead of alarming, we're trying to find out why these things happen and, making sh and finding alternatives to make it uh, a healthier uh, environment. environment. That's amazing. It's a great I mean, idea. Music, it really is. I spent time with my grandmother and we, we listened to music. And it's just, the, it brings them back. And it's so true. It is such a, a, an amazing, powerful thing. So what a great idea to do that. So it's all that and more at the Buckley Healthcare Center in Greenfield. Also. Just uh, amazing food, and here's just a snippet of things you do, and people can uh, have some of your food. The Easter brunch is coming up. Easter brunch coming up. We're doing a birthday dinner next week. We were um, where we're going to do a flank stuffed flank steak with prosciutto oh. and, and fresh herbs and stuff oh, like that. Food yep. is so good. You know what it is? You're always making people feel special, be it birthdays or brunches. You're always making people feel like they matter, and I really appreciate that. Thanks for coming by today. Well, my, I have great residents, and they make it wor so worthwhile. Happy but thank you, Easter for Chef Mike. Nice right, to have you here. You. More information on the Buckley Healthcare Center in Greenfield. Visit them online, buckleyhealthcare.com.